okay. The fuck? So we're here at Rig Supply finishing up the last install on a Forrest Galante's truck. Headed down to Baja with Forrest, Mike Nolte, Kelly Lund, Jason Denny, Kyle Hayes, Hudson Hall, Johnny Harrington, Raven, and Loki the Wolf Dog. Gotta knock this last install out and get back to it. day one we're heading to the border now and we're just gonna pound pavement for like nine or ten hours to get to the really good turnoff spots and that's when the guys that build these off-road trucks really come into play because they're gonna be able to help us use these vehicles as a tool to get into the areas where the wildlife is just magnificent. Spring in Baja is unlike any other time of year. Everything's active, lively, and lush and Mike and I are really excited to show the off-road community what you can use these vehicles to do that is the most incredible thing to see, which is our natural world. Like, my problem with this whole thing is like, you guys assuming that we weren't gonna have tacos twice today. <laughs> tacos twice a day? That's a standard issue thing. So, yeah, you're welcome for me saving the vibe. So after a super long travel day yesterday, we rocked up to the spot in pitch black, couldn't tell what it was. We just found a dirt track that headed down to the water, popped up the GFCs, it was howling wind and everybody just passed out. Woke up, beautiful sunrise this morning and turns out that we are parked on the, uh, the local launch ramp. So boats are going in the water, we're making a quick cup of coffee, then we're gonna move on over to try and look for the whales here in Guerrero Negro. Okay, up ahead you can see there's a bunch of spouts and blows going on. We're getting into the zone where uh, we can start to see the whales. So this is super awesome that we're going to be able to basically experience something that I'm pretty sure a lot of us have never been able to experience, have had the opportunity to do. Be really, really close and really immersed in like probably the best whale washing experience that you could ever have. I've never seen one in the wild like this, so that'd be pretty cool. Yeah! You ever seen a whale before? <laughs> So if you see this uh, current line here, that's stirring up the most water. And so where that's happening, there's the most bio nutrients in one area. So the whales are gonna concentrate around that line typically to get the most food pound for pound. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. Get in there, get down there! Get him! Hold on. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, 
dude, this is insane. I love you, dude. Dude, I want to love him forever. Oh, his eyes. See his eyeballs? See how he's looking up at you? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's got like a blubber vibe to him. Whoa. That was so cool. Seeing these things from a distance is completely different than touching them and them being, you know, an arm's length away. I got two things going on. I got Tell me. that this is happening yeah. and that you guys are letting me shoot it at the same time. <laughs> so it's like, I get to like enjoy like seeing other people react and yeah. like be present, right. but also like I enjoy shooting stuff. Sure. And so it's like just overwhelmingly like tear jerking, like choking me up. Cause it's like just insane. It's I'm beautiful. with a bunch of friends yeah. where we get to experience this and I get to be a part of showing the experience and sharing it. So it's just, dude, it's, it's emotional overload. It's amazing, right? Yeah. yeah. and just went straight through here. What do you, it looks all right. Look at it from the side. Oh shit, it's all bent. Dude, fuck, I'm so sorry, man. Dude, you're good though. I, I, <laughs> this you're right? sucks. It's bent the whole dude, the truck. I think it's right at the bumps back here. Will it still run? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still running. It's all fun and games until something like this happens where an hour from the nearest paved road, probably two hours from where we were trying to get to, and now we got a truck that's bent in two. So the sun is going down, you know, where's it, where's in a perfect track? scenario, we were in camp by now, you know, getting ready for tomorrow to go out and dive and enjoy the ocean. And now we got a truck, truck broken too. Digging. Can you fix it? I can't. It takes a while. <laughs> not here. Not, not here. Not now. <laughs> this shit happens. We gotta go. Like, I what if I would have blew a blue tire when I landed and flipped? Like, 100%. Dude. Fuck, dude. Like, it, yeah. we're, we're good, happen. dude. We're good. Like, we're good. As so, good as we can be, anyway. Yeah. I don't see how it could get any better. I do see how it could get worse. <laughs> so I'd, I'd literally rather just like get home to my wife early and get Kyle home to a new cell phone because he dropped his in the water. Or dropped whatever. it, he put it in the water. Put it in the water, did it to himself when we were seeing the wheel. So it's like, I guess it's not getting any any brighter out here. Yeah, let's go, let's pack realize. it up. That's the right call. Yeah. Glad, glad everybody's okay, man. Yeah, dude, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. <sighs> Yeah.
and it sucks that those guys went home because I feel like they would be able to have a way better trip kind of coming out of this with some good experiences as opposed to just leaving on kind of a, a tough note. Yeah, over the past couple months, Jason and I have become really good buds and like he's one of my best friends now and it sucks that I was the one that wrecked his truck and hopefully, hopefully things aren't too weird between us after. Honestly, I feel like they're probably not going to come back out just being in their situation and I think to end the trip on that note would suck, so. They're back. Yeah, they're mad. They're back and mad. Yeah, they're I told you they're yeah. coming. <laughs> He's pissed. If I drove out here, like, find me. <laughs> yeah, we've been here like 30 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't leave, dude. I couldn't leave. Like, we got the Jeep back to uh, the hangar and it was, just didn't make sense to leave. It was like, either way, the Jeep is the Jeep. Yesterday was crazy, uh, truck went down, we thought we'd lost Jason and the guys had to go back to town and the whole thing just seemed like it had gone crashing and burning. But then they showed up late last night, big celebration, too many beers around the fire. Now it's time to go catch some fish. Snorkel tastes like shit. It's not exposed to Put your shoulders back. Warmer. All right, so here's what we need. Shoot that. Let me see. <laughs> Look. Look. Dude, Look. Turn this way. It'll seal. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a nice fish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Three, two, one, in you go. So cold. It's so cold. had an absolutely phenomenal day cruising around. The boys got to dive with sea lions. Uh, Mike and I got to shoot some fish. And of course, we caught some magnificent yellowtail. So we're gonna start cutting them up now and get ready for an absolute camp feast.
driving trucks off road, it's easy because you can just build a truck and make it capable. But like the amount of knowledge and expertise that you have shown us and given us just a little taste of like what there is to see here in Baja is just mind blowing. You guys forced us to slow down and listen to you guys and learn and experience. And like when we thought we had to leave, it was just, it was gutting. Cause I was just like so torn with like my normal, I want to bail and I want to just, just stew on the situation. And the fact that like you guys, pretty much every person here took me aside and was like, dude, I really don't want you to go. And that's what made this trip special is like, it wouldn't have worked this way without all of us. That's why I did that. Thank you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Crashed the car on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.